why I will never work a nine to five job. Yes, this is not a clickbait. Have you ever imagined coming from a place whereby you have multiple streams of businesses, you wake up anytime you like, you have people working for you, you are just living your best life and you relocate to a place, you got a job and you have to wake up 4 a.m. If you are interested in watching this video, come along with me. Okay, welcome back. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If you are new here, thank you for stopping by. My name is Bola and I film about vlogs, lifestyle, etc, etc. Okay, the title of this video is saying that how, why I will never work a 9 to 5 job. Yes, this is not a clickbait. I will and can never do a 9 to 5 job. Well, there is a saying that says never say never but I don't think I can ever in my life do a nine to five anymore. A little bit of, bit of backstory, when I was in my country, Nigeria, all I have known in my life was business. Like I was born into a family of business. My dad was a businessman before he passed away. My mom was a businesswoman with multiple streams of income and multiple streams of businesses i mean and i myself in particular i started running business from the age of six years old yes then i used to sell candy to the tenants in my father's house because my dad has a very big compound and we have about 40 tenants in our house so i used to sell candy i used to sell ice water like i've been I've started making money from the age of six years old and I grew up into that making multiple streams of income. I have like six businesses before, before I leave Nigeria to America. And I came here, the first job I got, I have to wake up 4 a.m. Imagine where I was coming from, that I would sleep to like 8 a.m. in the 8 a.m. before I got up. Like, <laughs> it's not even funny. So I got this job that I have to wake up 4 a.m. Because I have to res resume the job 5 o'clock. And I have to wake up 4 a.m. That was the first job I got when I came to Ubodo Ibo. Ah, guys, it was so stressful for me. It was so devastating. But what will I do? I just came to America. I have to just do whatever my hands, whatever I lay my hands on, right? So I did this job for like three weeks. I'm not even joking. I couldn't go anymore. I'll work five days off. I'll get, I'll take off for two days. The days that I'm going to be off, you would think that I won a jackpot. Like if I came back from work today and see that, okay, tomorrow, I'm not going to go to work tomorrow. Tomorrow is my off day. The way I will be happy that i'm going to sleep till whatever time so i kept on i kept I, I did it for three weeks i couldn't cope again i stopped i got another one okay that one is still better i have to go i have to resume that one eight o'clock so but from my house to there before i get the train is about one hour so that one is still better but still i did that one as well i did it for let's say about three months i couldn't do it again because i i couldn't I, I just couldn't do it i don't know why i just couldn't do it then i stopped doing that one again then i got another one again that one is a restaurant job i have to resume by two o'clock and i have to close by 10 in the night hmm. that 10 o'clock in the night that we are supposed to close at the end of the day we close by 12. Because we have to clean when the customers are gone. We have to do the cleaning. We have to do this. We have to do that. So at the end of the day, I'll find myself living there by 12. I'm like, what? Ha! Ah, I was so unhappy. I would be thinking about my life every day. Sometimes I'll be like, ah, will it even not be better? I just go back to my country. What's all this? I'm not, I'm not used to all this. I'm, I'm used to turning one dollar to three dollars like I, ju I just like to sell buying and selling that's my thing i kept on 
I quit that restaurant one too. I did that one for like three months as well. I quit, even though I used to see a lot of tips in that restaurant jobs. When people come to eat, they tip. The tip is even more than the salary I was collecting at that job, but still, that was not what I wanted. So, I'll make research on the internet. Okay, what's, what, what can I do? Because I really want to do something from my home. Like, what kind of side hustle can I do from home? I started researching from the internet. So, one day, I came across that, okay, you can bake. You can do meat pie. You can do... I said, okay, fine. I went to the market. I bought all the necessary ingredients to do the meat pie. By the way, I don't know how to do meat pie in Nigeria. I didn't learn it. So I went on YouTube. I watched videos about it. I, 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 I bought the ingredients. Then I did it for family and friends. And they ate it and they like it. I said, oh, okay, fine. I started doing it in the house for my children. Everybody would say, oh, it's good. They like it. Wow. That one is aside. Then I made research about Puff Puff as well. I went to the market again. I went to the store, I mean, rather. Why am I saying market? I'm not in Nigeria. Okay, so I went to the store, I get the ingredient, and I made the pop off as well. Well, uh, it was good. I said, okay, this is business. So I called my family and friends that, okay, I'm into catering business now. You people can come and be patronizing me. After all, you people have eaten my meat pie and puff puff and you saw that it was good. So you guys should patronize me. So a lot of people will patronize me from home. Some people will say, ah, I want to buy from you, but you have to bring it to me in the cold weather and they will not even pay for transport. Well, this is the life I have chosen for myself, right? Okay, so in the cold, I will go and deliver it to them. I started getting customers. I started getting, getting customers. So one day, I thought of it that, hmm, this thing should not be what I'm just going to be doing indoor for people to just come and be buying. Like, I need to get a place that, the, it, that will be crowded, that will be selling it. And there was a school very close to where I live. It's like a university sort of school. So I had to go and meet the owner of the school that, um, can, I be, can I be bringing um, meat pie and puff puff to the student whenever they are on break, blah, blah, blah. So the owner said, okay, why not? But before then, you have to bring it to me. I want to see how it tastes before you introduce it to my student. I said, fine, say no more. Then I got home, I baked for her, I went to give it to her the following day, and she liked it. That was how I got the contract. So I registered the business. So ever since then, I didn't look back. Yes. So that's what I've been doing up till today. So even for the 9 to 5 job, I don't even know how much they want to pay me. Even, the money, even if the money they want to pay me is even more than the money I'm going to be making in this business that I'm doing. I don't think I can work a nine to five job. Even though the school, I normally take the meat pie to, to sell then. When COVID eats then, you know, they have to turn it to like online classes. Nobody's going out again. So that kind of stopped. But till now, I am still doing my thing from home. People are still coming to patronize me. I have, um, what do they call it? I, I have registered the business and I'm, I'm, I'm loving it. I like it. I'm happy. I'm not always sad. Or like when I was still doing the nine to five job, that I'm always sad. When I wake up in the morning, when the alarm rings for me to get up in the morning, for me to get up is go is is a struggle. I wouldn't want to get up. I'll be sad. I'll be mad. I will just I'll, then my husband would just be saying, "Calm down. Just it's just for a while. I know you to be a business person before we leave Nigeria, but this is America. Like when you are in Rome, you have to do like you are in Rome as well. Just just calm down. It will take a while. So now I'm the happiest person for what I am doing. Even if I am not making much, even though sometimes I still think that if I go to work, if I go to do nine to five, I probably might, might be making more, but." What is the essence of doing what you are not going to be happy doing? Does it make sense? So even if I'm making one dime, at least I am happy making the one dime. And as time goes on, I, apart from the meat pie, the puff puff, the chin chin, I cook as well for people. So the ministry is going. We give God the glory. So that's the reason why I don't think I can ever do a 9 to 5 because 
I can't be on anybody's watch time. When they give you break to go and eat, you, it will not be more than 30 minutes. You'll be looking at the time you'll be eating. You cannot comfortably sit down and eat your food without looking at the time. Oh, okay, this is 11.30. The, they gave me till 12 o'clock. Ah, okay, it's almost 11.55. I have to rush my food. I have to do this. I have to do that. No, even though staying at home can be boring because not every day you get customer to, to bake or to cook for. It can be really boring, but still, I will still choose my business to my nine to five job. So that's the reason why I cannot do a nine to five job. So thank you so much for coming and listening to my TED talk. So if you love this kind of video, please kindly share, subscribe and come back for more. Until I come again your way next time, thank you.